Hey everyone, so today we are going to open the Alienware Aurora R6 and we're going to check out what we have is inside, what components are currently installed and what empty slots we have. So here, it is supposed to be pulled back, but it has a screw, so we're going to just unscrew it. Push it back, it just comes up. So you can do it even with one hand. Okay. So this is how it looks inside. Let's go ahead and move. A bit so we can get more deep inside. A bit stiff, that's good. Okay, I can see the video card. Video card doesn't have um, a sticker that it's NVIDIA GeForce 1080. I don't know why, but it's okay, I guess. Inside, you can see it's water cooled. There's uh, one RAM stick. There are four slots, two dual channels. Right here, I see it says M2 Wi Fi. Not sure if that's additional M2 slot. One more SSD and M.2 stick. This is the under video card. Let's see what's inside here. This is the first M.2 SSD right here. Let's go back. So in the next video, I'll be showing how we can upgrade RAM. We're gonna replace this 16 gigabyte one stick with a four uh, sticks, eight gigabyte each. And this 16 gigabyte, which is currently installed, works at the 2400 megahertz. And we're gonna be replacing it with 2666 megahertz. You can see there are two slots at the bottom. SSDs. There is a cooler right here. The intake and outtake up top, right here. Coolers actually working pretty quiet, even when computer is fully loaded with things such as a game or video rendering. Same this side. The those locks. These six connectors are actually for the LEDs on the outer side of the box. That's how it looks like. There's this plastic support then for the second video card, which is good. I didn't know they would put if you have only one, which is in future I'm going to upgrade it to another video card. I'm just not sure if I'll keep this one. I will just go ahead with 2017, 2018 model and put an SLI bridge right here. Here you have your, this one is 2 terabyte SATA hard drive. There's many different connectors, I'll check out the manual what you, what we can be 
logging into these connectors as well as at the bottom there are several connectors here I'm sure this is U SSDs I will make sure so my main question would be is this port is for the M2 SSD or not so if you guys have a thoughts about it you can leave in comments below well, that's about it for this video all right thank you so much for watching see you next video bye bye